Logic Pro includes a set of global tracks that you can use to control different aspects of the overall project, hence the adjective global. You can use global tracks in the tracks area and in time-based editors, including the audio track editor, the piano roll editor, the score editor, and the step editor. When you show global tracks, they appear beneath the ruler in the particular area that you're focused in. In this case, in the tracks area, they would show up under this ruler. If I open the piano roll editor, then they would show up under this ruler. By default, the arrangement global track, the tempo global track, the transposition global track, and the movie global track are available to you in Logic Pro. When Show Advanced Tools is selected under Logic Pro X, Preferences, Advanced Tools, when this is selected, then you will also have access to the marker global track, the signature global track, the beat mapping global track. Each global track will have a tutorial dedicated to it in this course. You can select which global track to display and resize and reorder global tracks. By default, the arrangement, marker, signature, and tempo tracks are visible when you show your global tracks. That's if the advanced tools is selected that I just showed you in the preferences. If not, you will only see the arrangement and the tempo global track. So how do you show and hide your global tracks? Well, there are several ways. First way is to go to the track menu and then come down to global track. And then here you can click on show global tracks or you can use the shortcut G. Or you can go here above the track headers and you have this button right here that is show hide global tracks. I'm going to click that. And so what I'm seeing are the default visible global tracks when show advanced tools is selected in your advanced preferences. So I see my arrangement, my marker, my signature, and my tempo global tracks. To choose which global tracks are displayed, I can go back to my track menu and then come down to global tracks and I can go to configure global tracks or use the shortcut option G. I'll click that. And when I click that, the global tracks configuration dialog box pops up and I have check marks beside the global tracks that are visible, which are my default global tracks, the arrangement marker, signature, and tempo. If I wanted to add or take away a global track, I just put a check mark there. So if I don't want to see the tempo track, I can uncheck that. If I do want to see it, I put a check mark back there. If I want to add the beat mapping track, put a check mark there. If I want to see all of the global tracks, I select enable all and now I can see all of the global tracks visible. If I want to disable all, I click this and now I don't see any global tracks. And if I want to go back to the default, I can hit revert and it goes back to the default setting, reverts back to the default setting. Now it's important to note that the tracks that you select in this global tracks configuration dialog only affect the active area or the active window that you're focused in. In other words, if I was in the piano roll editor and I can show my global tracks here, and if I use the shortcut option G to bring up that global tracks configuration, if I, let's say for instance, added a global movie track here in the piano roll editor, so I have my global movie track here, it did not show up here in the arrangement. If I enabled all here, it did not enable all here in the tracks area. I should have said, not the arrangement area. And if I uh, disable all, it disables all here, but it has no effect on what's happening up here in the tracks area. I'm going to click away from that, close out my piano roll editor. Another way that you can decide which type of global track you want visible is you can control click over anywhere over here on your global tracks area. And you will get this menu that comes up. This is basically the same menu that is available to you under tracks, uh, global tracks, this whole area down here. You'll see the exact same thing. So if you just control click here, that menu pops up where your mouse is. As I mentioned earlier, you can also resize and reorder the global tracks. So if I want to resize all of the global tracks at once, I can take my mouse and put it right here above my top track header and beneath my global tracks and my mouse will turn into a tool that looks like this and then I can click and drag down or up dragging down makes them taller and dragging up will make them shorter all as one now if I want to resize a specific global track then I can put my mouse at the bottom of that particular global track say for instance the arrangement 
It's right at the bottom of the arrangement and right above the marker, there's this division line and my mouse turns into this tool. And if I click and drag down, my arrangement track gets taller. If I drag up, it gets smaller. If I want to reorder global tracks, say for instance, I want to move the signature in between the marker and the arrangement, I'll put my mouse on the signature track header. My mouse turns into a hand. If I click, it looks like it's grabbing it because it is. If I drag it, this blue line indicates where it will move it. That will move it in between the marker and the arrangement when I let it go. So now the signature is in between the marker and the arrangement track.